And you got Illinois fighting Illini to save the worst for last. Brett Bielema thinks he's coming into a situation where, you know, Lovey Smith left some talent behind, blah, 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 blah. But actually, he's coming into a situation where he's going to get wiped out and crushed. This guy is not a good coach, and I'll tell you how I know that. His previous job was working for Joe fucking Judge. That's not a good <laughs> line on your resume. Oh, Joe Judge was my boss. I took orders from him because I think he's smart. No. The win total is three and a half juiced over, but I wouldn't lay it. This team is going to have a hell of a time getting the three wins. Uh, one thing, one thing they got going for them, though, is that they bring back what was a solid over. So they shouldn't get run off the field as much as Lovey, like, let them get run off the field. They should be more competitive, you know, from an against the spread perspective. But this this is a rebuild here, even if, even if people don't tell you otherwise. So Nebraska... UTSA, at Virginia, Maryland, at Purdue, versus Charlotte. Two wins out of this, right? That was reasonable. Right, right. I, I, I think that the only way to bet that Nebraska Illinois game is uh, on the Illinois money line. Then just assuming that it all collapses in on Scott Frost. That's obviously my analysis. Um, but I think there's it's as we live in a world where it's very likely that they only start they only have two games, uh, two wins uh, heading into October 9th, then Wisconsin at Penn State, Rutgers, Minnesota, Iowa, Northwestern. Maybe they get one and a half more games out of there, right? So this is we're at three and a half wins. That's I mean that's yeah that's no I mean I'm not saying it was a bad total. It's just they 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 got to lose to the road runners. The, yep, that they easily could. Uh, you if you remember I mean? from yeah. our conference you USA would. pod, it, from our conference USA pod, I think they had they got a little bit of the luck of the Irish last year, uh, the Roadrunners. But uh, that does not mean, even though that they were lucky last year, that they aren't more talented to beat uh, the Illini. Um, so Tony, so we've gone through the Big Ten. I gotta have yeah. dinner, but I got I got one oh. question for you. I got one oh, question yeah. for you. What do you think about this uh, Texas and Oklahoma going to the SEC? Oh, I, I don't know if that's going to be the disaster for Texas A&M that Texas A&M thinks it's going to be, but it's going to be challenging. If Texas can become you know, a place people want to play again, it's a, it's a big deal brand down there, the hook and horn. Uh, oh, I'm surprised Oklahoma wanted to do this because Oklahoma was in Scotland. And, and at the top of the Big Twelve, and now they got to go toe to toe with Bama. Are you prepared for the battle for the Iron sk- Skillet to become a conference game? Is that what she win in the Red River Shootout? No, no, no. That's the TCU SMU rivalry game. The battle for the Iron Skillet. SMU is joining the Big Twelve in response to these two teams leaving. In 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 my in my in my in my the world that I'm dreaming of, I'm hoping that there's an AAC Big Twelve merger. That oh, that would be very interesting, and people would like that. Texas Christian is a good team to have a rivalry with. <clears throat> so they ran. They ran the numbers in terms of, uh, I think, someone in the athletic in terms of viewership. If you take out all the Big 12 games that included Oklahoma and Texas, and you take out the TCU-Ohio State game from a couple years back, on average, all those eight remaining Big 12 games only get 90,000 more viewers than your average AAC game. Only 90,000 more. Isn't that shocking? Not really, because there's a lot of teams in the Big 12. Ain't too many people watching. Talking about the Cyclones. Don't get a lot of respect to the Cyclones, right? Like, talking about the Cowpokes. Cowpokes don't get a lot of respect. Now, I, I could see the viewership being very low. The point of fact is mostly people who bet on the game. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's my hope. It's the Big 12 AAC merger or the Big 12 poaching a few uh, few solid programs from the AAC. Maybe a, maybe a Memphis, UCF, Cincinnati, Houston, SMU. Get teams in larger markets, uh, high quality competition, and so on and so on. Hey, fucking A. The luck that the, the investors are definitely going to get their money's worth. Now, we did, yeah, we did a pretty good long show here on the Big Ten. I don't know which one we're going to do next. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out over the next couple of days. Let's, uh, let's go to, let's go to uh, the AAC. Speaking of the AAC, let's go to the AAC. Hey, fucking A. Let's do it. To the AAC next time. Hey, good show by you. Hey, right back at you. Nice. All right.